Okay, so with that in mind, wait, where's my thing? <laughs> okay, can you guys see that well? Yeah. Welcome to the 2021 Siffies. Our first Siffy goes to, so let me tell you a little bit of a story. So I heard about this and uh, Dr. Rabokino was very nice to collect all these nice facts about you guys. And I found that I had no idea that this particular person has a second degree black belt in Taekwondo. So I went, wow, that's pretty impressive. How can that person die first playing mafia? Second degree black belt and dies first. Wait, hey, hold on. Second degree mafia. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold Second on. degree black belt and dies first. Wait. So, <laughs> get a refund award for Taekwondo goes to Antonio Ajero. Oh my God. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> what is that I got okay our next Siffy. this one is a very special one one of the things that i love about our festival is i like to collect uh all these students from around the world so we've been doing really well with expanding the number of countries that we've had at the festival but then we got stuck at number 40 for like three years, we couldn't get another country until I met the sweetest graduate student come into my studio. And I went, where are you from? And she goes, Lithuania. And I, yes, <laughs> here we go. We finally, we finally broke the curse of the 40. So the next award, finally at 41 award goes to Miss Valdone Arfa. Okay, our next Siffy goes to, so I hear really, really fun stories. You know, we have wide range of ages at our festival. You know, we have doctorate students or we have actually doctors, Zhao Ye is a doctor. <laughs> and we have kids that are very, very young. And I know sometimes you can be a little bit intimidating and you might just be a shy young student. But then we found out through that mafia game once again, that one of our recipients was very, very sneaky in a very, very fierce way. So, the Sneaky Fierce Award goes to Mana Asaka. Yay! <laughs> By the way, I saw Mana for the first time tonight as she played live. Oh my God, the pictures don't do justice of how cute that girl is. Oh my God. But then she plays the piano like that. So yeah, Sneaky Fierce on the piano and in Mafia. Our next if he goes to, and this one's a good one. You know, this week, uh, amongst us, uh, directors and staff, you know, we thought we prepared for, you know, 50 different possibilities with the Zoom webinars, and we thought we were really, really prepared. Of course, the 51st thing that's wrong happens on a Julian Martin masterclass, and we go, oh my God. <laughs> so we all just lost it. However, this staff member slash participant got all of his, you know, all of the things together and he really pulled off an incredible uh, festival, both as a participant and as a staff member. So, whoa, 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 I skipped to the other side. That's it. <laughs> the MVP award goes to Mike Brady. Okay, let me go back to one, okay? Now, you know, whenever we have these little boo-boos with our scheduling, just like what happened with Professor Martin where things get delayed a lot, this can really throw the schedule off because we, we didn't think about this, but once something goes a little bit longer, then it runs into another person. There are some of you guys throughout this, um, 
throughout this country and in Canada where you guys are using the same room to do master classes. Well, that's what happened over here because one thing happened, this one student who was ready to play at this time got delayed. And she happens to be a freshman, not that freshmen are always fragile, but my goodness, I would have freaked out if that happened to me. But she held her side completely together and I was so proud of her. So I hope I clicked this the right way. No, that went that way. Anyways, sorry, I went off track a little bit, but how can I go back there? There it is. Cool as the other side of the pillow award goes to Miss Linnea Backcock. Yay. Okay, and let me skip over Mike because I went out of order. So we are over here. So this year we're very fortunate because Dr. Uh, Dr. Lisi brought us a lot of sweetest students from Canada. And last year, this person was supposed to join us and we couldn't quite make it work. So this year we were able to make it work and you know, you see this angelic person with that voice, things like that. So, you know, I was expecting, you know, like tell us a fun fact about you. I was expecting her to say, um, you know, Bach changed my life <laughs> or it's Mozart or die. I don't know. That's what I was expecting. But then I was shocked to see this. Who says this? Uh, she loves green onion flavored popcorn. One of the funniest facts I ever saw. So if she was here, we would definitely make this happen. A year supply of green onion flavored popcorn goes to Miss Lindsay Bui. <laughs> okay. I believe it was back in, uh, I don't know, November, I believe. I had a chance to teach this young student and I could not believe the amount of energy out of her. Oh my goodness. Uh, just, just looked like the sweetest person, but my goodness, uh, everything about this, if she needed to say something in two words, she'll spend 50 words. And she has so much to say, so much energy. So obviously we put that person in a master class with Dr. So Young Yoon, who's exactly the same. When those two got together, I swear there was gonna be a Zoom explosion. So the Zoom explosion award goes to Annie Cal. We keep going. So, you know, when we were finding out a lot of things about you, found that a lot of you guys are experts at not only the piano, but another instrument. Most of the times it's like violin or cello or something really cool like this, and not one of those dumb instruments. So when I read this fact that she used to be a saxophone player, but what? That's a dumb instrument. If an uh, instrument is being played by Kenny G, it's a dumb instrument. <laughs> So she said she wasn't quite ready for that. So she moved on over to saxophone. So that's it or over to piano. So I thought that was an excellent move. So the very smart move award goes to Emily Cow for switching over to piano. Thank you, Emily. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, another interesting fact. And this is a young lady that I've known for several years now who we love dearly. On her interesting fact, it turns out that she doesn't like mushrooms, mayonnaise, or mustard. Basically, she doesn't like any food that starts with the letter M. So if it starts with M, don't give it to me award goes to Miss Chloe Castillo. <laughs> okay. We had a special award winner tonight that I announced and he, hey, thanks for checking in, Spencer. <laughs> he had no idea that he won the award. <laughs> but, you know, I got a feeling that's not the only thing that he's ignorant about because he's not dumb. He's obviously very smart. But there is some ignorance involved over here. One thing, I don't think he has any idea that Islam is hard. 
you watch him play. It's just what you can't do this. I think it's just one of those things. He goes, <laughs> it just goes what? All you have to do is kind of do this. So nobody told me Islam is hard. Award goes to Spencer Chap. <laughs> we are rolling. Okay, this one I have a problem with. This is another student that I taught at distance sometime at the end of last year. Now he comes to the festival and he has a different last name. And I understand those things happen, but then it keeps going back and forth and he keeps using one, then the other, then one to the other. The two last names he's using is Liu and Chang. I don't know. I don't know if some of you guys will get this or not, but let's see the street fighter award goes to jack chang i don't know if you know that there is a character over there named Liu kang and that's close enough so you get the street fighter award <laughs> okay and i don't know if she's in this room but i loved her story so when you guys got all accepted to the festival then we try to find out some special fact about you for tonight. There was one very interesting thing written. It was between now and the festival, I'll have a cat. I haven't named it yet, but I'll have a cat. So what's the cat's name award goes to Crystal Chang. Is Crystal in here, by the way? I thought I saw her earlier, but I want to know the name of this cat. Crystal, if you see this, can you put it in the text or the chat? Because I really want to know the caramel. <laughs> Congratulations, Crystal caramel. That's awesome. Okay, next award. Okay, you know, last year was so depressing just because we had to cancel this. And I started gaining these energy of getting to know you guys. So one of the first things that we did, well, last year, when we started setting these dates, like October 15th, we're gonna decide, and we're gonna decide by this date, there was this one person that kept checking in. I'm still interested in coming, can I really come? And we felt really bad because we just had no idea. But finally, we got to actually meet. So I want to say this very personally. Thank you for your diligent work, but finally got to meet your award goes to Bo Yun Choi. And it's been very nice hearing her play. Yay. Okay. This one I'm going to butcher a little bit, okay? Because this can be a real thing. And this was the most interesting thing because this is the first time that I've ever met a person like this. So uh, she was very honest and expressed to us her phobia. I go, wow, that's interesting. So we're thinking about, you know, what can somebody be afraid of? And as it turns out, which I can imagine it can be for some people, but she's afraid of butterflies. So we're not going to laugh about this because it's a real condition. I just never knew that it was real. So my first Lepidopterophobiac award <laughs> goes to Sanjana Danaskaran. Yay! <laughs> Next, I gotta tell you about the silly thing that has gone on in my mind since I was a junior in high school. That's when my deep hatred for Chopin's first ballad started. I played it over and over, and it's not a deep hatred, it's just kind of sick of it. So I have never taught it to a student. Just it's just well, I've never assigned it to a student. I have taught it in a master class before. Uh when uh we had our festival in 2016, this is when Dr. Washington Garcia came back to do a recital on the opening night. Because he knows me and because he's sarcastic like that, what do you think the first piece he played was? Chopin's first ballad. <laughs> just to make, just to get on my case. 
Well, as you guys know, it was the closing piece of this year's festival, and it was played exquisitely by Miss Ellen Foreman. So I just want to say thank you for making me like the first ballad again to Miss Ellen Foreman. <laughs> I think it was 2017, 2016 or 17. What I remember about that year is as we were just, you know, getting everybody to come over here and, you know, we see the students with that first year blank look like, what am I doing? What's going on over here? I remember seeing this cutest little girl. She was just walking around with this where am I look with glasses on and my heart just melted. So I remember starting to say nothing in this world, nothing in this world is cuter than this girl. So now we're like four years later, she's in college. And that whole world just crumbled down on me. I'm going, oh my God, I remember those big glasses and just that puzzled look, where am I? It was the cutest thing ever. But I have to be realistic because kids grow up. And by the way, guys, I have a daughter that I'm crazy about. So, you know, the whole daughter thing is a big thing. So. Please stop growing award goes to Yumiko Hastings. <laughs> All right, so here's the thing that I have noticed about this one particular girl. She is so graceful in everything she does from the rhythm that she plays the bark roll with or just the fluidity in her body and the way she moves so graceful. Then it started to make sense. She's also a ballerina. And wow, that is something. So a ballet word that we all know. The arabesque award goes to Miss Terry G. <laughs> we keep going. Oh, this one is, we always have one of these staff awards where the staff just, you know, they were observing everybody and they happened to pick that one sweetheart. So this is a tradition. This one doesn't necessarily follow a funny story behind it, but the staff thought that this was a very important thing to say. So I want to say the sweetheart award, the festival sweetheart award goes to Sophia Jin. Okay, one second guys. Before we continue, I just saw something. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh. 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 Yay. Guys, that's our festival baby this year. Hey, Caleb. <laughs> appeared so early on us. <laughs> okay, let's go back. We're to the next one. Okay, and this one's just a special recognition award because he has been at this festival 10 years, just like Dr. Enrico Lisi. Dr. Elisi spending his 10th year this year here. We're so proud of that. And I heard Jing Chuan's gonna do something very nice for Dr. Elisi for getting his 10th year. Anyways, the 10 year award goes to Mr. Martin Kesuma. By the way, this award is a little bit boring because we've used everything else at him already. <laughs> so next one. Okay, I've heard about the legend, okay? And while I will never do it, I sort of want to stomp on her foot one of these days because I heard about this legend that she can laugh and cry at the same time. So please laugh and cry for us at the same time to Miss Claire Kim. <laughs> okay, our next uh, SIFI award. So this has to be, uh, only recognize some of the older ones because I don't think, well, just by show of hands, uh, 
How many of you guys know who Tom and Jerry is? Really? That's actually shocking. Wow. Well, every time this participant played the piano and played the Grunfeld, the flight of mouse, that's all I could think of. <laughs> Just because that's such a big part of us growing up watching the Flutter Mouse and Tom and Jerry. So the Tom and Jerry Award goes to Miss Jian Lee. So guys, this little mafia night has become legendary. It's become really, really legendary. So there's going to be a couple of more awards associated with that. But I heard on this one night, the smooth personality made it so effective that he was an imposter five times. That's pretty impressive. So the imposter award goes to William Light. <laughs> so how many times did Neil die anyways? <laughs> I died four times. <laughs> I blame Will. <laughs> yeah, Will like just finds me somehow and then just, <laughs> just kills me. That is hilarious. I don't understand. <laughs> so our next award. This might be the best fact that I know. Because I guess, you know, maybe your generation is a little bit different, but this fact would have never existed at my days. When I was in high school or college, I mean, I probably couldn't go a week without it. But anyways, somebody wrote in and said, as a young student, that I've never been to a Taco Bell. Wow. Which is one of those things that, wow. So. The Run to the Border Award goes to Mr. Ethan Lin. <laughs> Miss Rose Chen, I don't know how you're teaching these guys, but if you're already getting them that healthy, where they've never been to a Taco Bell, you're doing something right. Wow. Okay. So tonight, I finally got to meet this young pianist. She's over here from San Antonio. And my God, there's just a graceful confidence about the way she approaches everything and just love watching how she plays the piano, how she plays Debussy. Everything was just smooth and cool and she was just chill with everything. Then I found out she's a really big fan of jazz. So I went, okay, all of this makes sense. So the Smooth Cool Award goes to Miss Christina Liu. <laughs> Our next uh, Siffy, uh, I don't know if some of you guys follow my uh, social media posts about the daily activities of the festival, which I do enjoy writing a lot. One interesting fact that we found out, a student, and this it might be somebody else as well, but a student had four master classes in four days for four different professors, in four different countries that's crazy <laughs> and that's remember me talking about making lemonade out of lemons that is one of those things how in the world could that have happened in other places you have four master classes in four days with four different people from four different countries so she went us canada then italy then went to south korea so the world traveler award goes to miss yao ya lu Okay, one last reference to this mafia game. I don't know what happened that night, but it turns out it looks like it's something pretty, uh, pretty significant and lots of fun. But I heard about this one student uh, who got really, really mad because <laughs> somebody thought he was an imposter and just got real sassy. Well, we happen to have the yearly The Sassy Award here at the festival. So this year, because I would have loved to have seen this because he's the cutest thing ever. 
But anyways, the Sassy Award, sorry, how did I get there? I skipped it, sorry. What, hold on to the Sassy Award. This one, Marissa, I know you saw your name over here, so I gotta mention this. Everybody noticed this and it wasn't just me because I told Marissa like on one of the first days. So, you know, we go, we played the video, uh, the video that she already recorded for us. Then we go live to her. She had the biggest smile on her face and I feel so flattered going, oh my goodness, that's so sweet. So I said to the staff, you know, she, she just has this big smile on her face and makes you feel so good. And they went, yeah, that happened here too. So everywhere, that's a good quality, Marissa, because that's just going to give everybody a, a nice uh, chi feeling, just going, oh my goodness, you have really proper energy behind you. So I know you might have already seen it. Sorry, God, <laughs> the best smile award goes to Marissa Mathia. And that sassy award that I spent so much time talking about goes to our Johnny May. <laughs> All right. Next one. Okay. Let me also describe to you what would happen if we were in person right now. We would be doing this at, um, oh, I forgot the name of the hall. Neil, don't you remember? What's the name of the hall? Braden Hall? Brogdon. Brogdon. Thank you, Dr. Rabotkina. If we were to be in Brogdon Hall, one of the things that we would be doing is playing a lot of pool, or there's another game that Neil and everybody else play, which looks horribly dangerous for the fingers. But anyways, in a couple of years, um, they asked me to play a game with them because I'm really good. And in 2019, I remember with the college students, we all went out after uh, the Friday night event. So it would have been like last night's event. And the thing that they wanted to do with me was play pool because they wanted to hear. And I said, as long as nobody video records, yeah, I can do this. And I kicked their butts. I found out over here that we have a serious pool player amongst us that's supposedly really good. So. I'll play you next year award goes to Braden me out. So Braden practice your pool, come back and take me on. That's a challenge to you. <laughs> okay, another thing that I saw tonight, you know, the first time that I checked out her video of her playing the Liz Paganini the immediate thing that I notice is those very beautiful two measure phrases of the famous tune. Dun, da, 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 dun, da, da, dun, da, 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 dun, dun. Oh my God, can she do the separate color on the second repeat phrase? Just, just like it just suddenly the change of the room, the color of the room whoo, changes. And what control? So I have to give this award. The Queen of Subido Piano Award goes to Miss Emma Oba. <laughs> <laughs> okay this one's a repeat award because it was sort of the same thing we talked about annie cow and so young yoon and their energy would have caused a big old explosion now i happen to be a very extroverted person i'm the one who you know i want to make sure you hear my voice and i'm allowed and i get very excited and I got to teach a student with the same amount of energy, which was totally fun. So we got to do this award one more time. The Zoom Explosion 2 award goes to Mariah Ochoco. This was such a fun time that we had in her lesson. <laughs> All right. So we have a returning student this year who I absolutely adore. She is an incredible pianist, one of the kindest people. Her parents are perfect. And one of the things that we tried to do in 2019 is there's gotta be something wrong with you. I mean, nobody's that perfect. Plays the piano really well, gets all good grades and gets full scholarships to schools and all this. 
all this. There's no way life is that perfect. That was in 2019 and it's 2021. However, we're still looking for something wrong to Halle Puckett. <laughs> we're going to find it. Her mom promised us that there was something that, but we still haven't found anything. <laughs> okay. This one is an interesting award and I just sort of made this up. I don't know why this makes sense to me because it wasn't offensive, but it was just a very interesting thing. So we had Miss Lindsay Bui talking about, you know, she loves green onion flavored popcorn. That's kind of out there. On the other extreme of it, the first fact that she writes down is, I hate green onions. That's kind of different. And those two are in the same studio for a while. So I'm like, wow, that's really interesting. Now, we Koreans, we are very passionate about our green onions, especially the way we make our various uh, Korean style pancakes called juns. And for some reason, the soup Nazi came into my mind as I was thinking this. So Shelly, I'm sorry about this award because our jun, our pancakes are usually made with green onions. We call it pajun because pa is green onion and jun is that pancake. So for some reason with the soup Nazi, the no jun for you award goes to Shelly Shao. That's really reaching it in a weird way, but the no jun for you. Somebody speaking? Oh, okay. All right, we keep going. All right, this one. Let me just check one thing real quickly, guys. Guys, do you know if Yejin is in the room? Okay. Yes, she is. I'm here. All right. Let me just, I got to find you. There you are. This will make all the sense in the world. Hi, Yejin. Hi. <laughs> so the award, which I'll show in a second, but I'm just going to announce it first right now, OK? Because this is the greatest fact that we read throughout all of this. Can you please Irish dance for us? <laughs> <laughs> The last time I did that was like, I think seven years ago. So, oh, okay. Do you yeah. know how awesome that is? That the fact that we read about you is that you are a serious Irish dancer. <laughs> oh my God. The fact that if we could see that, that would be so incredible. Anyways, we'll go back into our no <laughs> normal mode. So. Please Irish Dance For Us Award goes to Ye Jin Song. That would have been great to see. Oh my God, that would have been a first ever at this festival. Okay, this next one is a very special because this is a fellow Georgian. This is a fellow Georgian. She is a diehard bulldog, so I love this. So my first masterclass that I was teaching, I watched this one video from this pianist and she plays the heck out of a Chopin etude. I mean, it, it was, can I say it like this? It was so good, it was stupid. <laughs> so, you know, I couldn't do so much about this. So, you know, I was, luckily she had the Bach ready to go. So we worked on quite a bit with that. But I tell her, you know, oh, that was a really good Chopin etude. And she does this, she goes, like that was her thank you. <laughs> And oh my goodness, if I could just like take that energy, I would be the greatest poker player in the world because I couldn't read it at all. You know, she might have a full house or she might have zilch. So the Poker Face Award goes to Miss Elisa Soriano. And when I say Poker Face, I absolutely mean it as a compliment because gosh, I wish I had that. Okay, this one, so, you know, with Valdone Arfa, we talked about the 41 award. That was very, very special that we got that 41. I didn't think we were gonna get to 42 
because she was studying in Toronto. But then I look a little bit deeper and found out that she grew up in Australia. And here's the big thing about Australia. Not only is that 42, that's finally number six continent wise. I can't tell you how excited I was when I read that. So the only thing I just wanted to, you know, just immediately call her and just hear her say, good job, Mike, or whatever. <laughs> Put shrimp on the barbie. I don't know. Sorry for my terrible accent. But because of this reason, and this is the only reason, well, I'm sure there would be other reasons if I had taught her, but favorite student award goes to Nikki Way. Is Nikki in the room? Please tap. Please pass along to Nikki that, you know, she's going to be that precious favorite student. Okay. The next award goes to Nikki's very good friend, Miss Jin Xuanjie. The thing that I would like to challenge her, obviously, we got a really, really in intelligent girl, and I'm hearing these legendary stories about her skills. So we really wanted her back for that reason for next year, because I really want to see how good she really is, because this is something that still frustrates me. So, so Sudoku Champ Award. I want to see how really good she is, because it's getting to be pretty legendary that, you know, nobody can top her. Now, I happen to have one of those daughters that could just like Rubik's Cube, like nobody's business. But I want to see how good her Sudoku is. So the Sudoku Champ Award goes to Jing Xuan Jie. Yay! Okay. The next award, and this is something that we as a staff have to admit. We do not think is unethical just because there's just way too many coincidences. But you guys are six years apart. You guys, one of you lives in Ohio, the other one lives in New Jersey. As far as we know, you don't know each other. But how can one of your name be Elaine Yang and the other one be Elizabeth Yang? And you guys are both playing the same piece. You know what the odds of that happening is? We have Elaine Yang and Elizabeth Yang playing the Chopin first movement of the third sonata. So we don't think this is unethical because we never told anybody. But we timed you guys <laughs> at your recital to see who would finish first. <laughs> it's not unethical because we never told them we were going to do this. It did not change the performance at all. This is the scary thing. One of you guys finished it in nine minutes. The other one finished it in nine minutes and 14 seconds. You know how close that is? It's an unbelievable similarity. So I want to announce to you the winner of the race for the Chopin B minor. Winner of Chopin B minor race goes to Elaine Yang. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> However, the next award will make sense because Elizabeth Yang, you know, took 14 more seconds. This is the way to explain it. Enjoyed second theme more award goes to Elizabeth Yang. <laughs> and you know, that's the artistic liberty. There was no race. There was just no race. And she has every right to enjoy the second theme more. So Elizabeth, congratulations for enjoying it more. Elaine, congratulations for winning. <laughs> okay. Our next if he goes to, and I mentioned this earlier on today, we love these stories. I mean, this is one of the biggest stories that I heard from Dr. Alicia about what this student was doing. And she received our citizen award because these masterclass hopping and being so happy about doing this. So the masterclass hopping champion award goes to Vanessa Yu. Yay. Okay, guys, I have to tell you this one story. So as it turns out, this Sean Zhang out of San Antonio, Texas, one of the coolest cats I know, he just is just like, all right, all right. I mean, Sean, you ready to play? Yeah. 
<laughs> it's just so casual, so cool. So the story about it is he's obviously at home and he's shooting the video. And, you know, Dr. Carol Leone was wondering where he was coming from. So that was a very natural question. So if you were to say, Marissa, where are you coming from? You would answer Omaha. Jack, where are you coming from? Wait, Jack, you're in Toronto, right? Yeah, we'd say Toronto. So we ask Sean James, hey, Sean, where are you coming from? He goes, home. <laughs> and did it in that tone. It's just so funny. <laughs> and we just kind of all, well, then that's the end. <laughs> coming in from home. <laughs> so this is my one of the things. I live on Earth Award. Where do you live? Earth. <laughs> So I live on Earth Award goes to Sean Zhang. Okay. And our next one goes to, ah, this is one of my favorite students of all time. I've known him for a long time. And guys, if you see this student, the only word that really comes into mind is how adorable this student is. And I've been telling him this for like six years. My God, Boran, are you adorably cute. However, God, I'm so sorry to do this to you, Boran. I'm so sorry. After meeting Johnny May, I'm sorry, Boran. <laughs> You're now the runner up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys. It's been an incredible week. I've so enjoyed seeing all of you guys in various different ways. Uh, as much as I know that it doesn't beat the live experience, this entire experience is something extremely gratifying for a lot of us. So I thank you for everything that you did in making this week very, very successful. I really mean this before I would have said let's just get through this week now I think you saw the very best effort possible from us and we're so proud and we're so proud of you guys we love you guys we want you to stay in touch for people who've been in this festival before uh we are very good about maintaining our family relationships with everybody so I want everybody to know this, stay in touch, have a good rest of the summer, and I wanna hear from all you guys individually. So congratulations to all of you guys. We love you and we will see you soon. Bye, I didn't read any of the chats. Can I read those chats? Yes, you will be able to. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. We'll see you soon. Thank you so much, Dr. Kwan. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.